Does your gem balance look like mine? Do you need some gems as quickly as possible? Well, allow me to introduce to you the top 10 best ways how to get gems fast without using any money, hacks, or mom's credit card. There are even some secret methods in this list that people usually don't talk about so in order to make most amount of gems it's very important to follow each method that I personally tested out for a full month. Why did I spend full month testing different gem methods you may wonder? Simply because one day somebody joined my clan. Somebody whose name was a princess. Having a name like that was a clear sign she was a legitimate girl and I straight away asked would you go on a date with me? Then she said that I am not wealthy enough to even afford 5th builder. I said no worries I will get it immediately. But then I realized. I realized that I don't have a single gem to hire 5th builder. Then she told me she will give me 1 month to get it, after which she promised to come for a discord date with me. It was the 31st of January and next month was February which happened to be the shortest month of the year so I had to make 2000 gems as quickly as possible. But before we start slap that subscribe button because according to Leonardo da Vinci you will get plus 5 IQ instantly if you subscribe right now. Since I needed gems and gems only then during the month of February I converted pretty much everything I could into gems, including the silver pass. As you can see not a single reward has not been claimed yet but this is about to change as I am going to gather all the gems possible. I had full gold and elixir so I was able to convert even the resource rewards into gems. Then I sold all the items that I got from the silver pass which gave me in total 117 gems. I have said this before and I am going to say it again. Max, your gem mine. Even if you don't like playing builder base then at least try to rush your gem mine to as high level as possible because it can generate you up to 1752 gems per year. Since I didn't have maxed out gem mine myself then within one month I received 65 gems. Because gem mine is like gem box but in builder base then I included here also gem boxes. Within 28 days I removed 5 gem boxes which means together with gem mine I made in total 190 gems. If you are desperately in need of gems you might wanna do what I just did. I joined my first ever clan war league in order to make as many medals as possible that I was going to sell later for gems. After the NPC finished giving me some very valuable instructions how to win in CWL I went on and 3 starred every single enemy on my way. Together with added bonus from the clan leader I received in total 198 medals. Now if you are planning to sell your medals then the best value item to buy is whether training potion or resource potion. Simply buy these and sell them for 10 gems. With 198 medals I was able to buy 19 training potions that gave me 190 gems. Next up we have events. As we know there are events going on almost every week but how much gems can you earn from them in one month? It was time to find out by completing every single event there is. Firstly I finished the Tiger Mountain challenge which gave me 30 to gems. Then Valentine's Day challenge for 10 gems. World Power for another 10 gems. The Wizard of Oz 20 gems. Lizard Blizzard 20 gems. Tiny and Shiny another 20 gems. And at the end of the month there was another Lizard Blizzard event for 20 gems. In total 132 gems but in reality I could have gotten even more gems if I had access to all the super troops. I included under the event method also all the free stuff from the trader. I received 3 training potions and for some weird reason on 16th of February also a rune of elixir. With all summed up I made 212 gems. Would you like to receive 500 gems from Supercell like this person did? I know I would. But how does someone get 500 gems from Supercell? Let me show you how. In order to get 500 gems you have to make it to the official Clash of Clans Twitter account with your fan art, meme, or a video. If it's good enough and they decide to share it then GG, you might be 500 gems richer. Since I needed gems badly and my full name is Pablo Pick J so then clearly my plan was to draw a masterpiece that would leave the whole Supercell team speechless. 
To be frank I have done fan art already in the past but unfortunately it didn't end up in Clash of Clans Twitter. At least I got a compliment from Darian which means I was on a correct path and this time I was going to succeed. I needed to draw something that would straight away catch everyone's eye, something that no one has ever drawn before, and that was the mighty yak. I opened photoshop and the next 50 plus hours I spent drawing one of the prettiest fan arts of all time. It was ready and as I was about to share it with the Clash of Clans subreddit something shocking happened. For some reason it got deleted within couple of seconds. I tried to repost it, but it got deleted again. It must have been too pretty to show to the people and unfortunately the whole world didn't see this masterpiece of an art. Since I didn't have any more time to waste I had to find alternative way how to get gems fast. Since I failed with the last method then now I had to make some big gains to catch up. Luckily the next method I am going to show is more rewarding than any other we spoke about earlier, and that is the clan games. Of course in order to get the most amount of gems you will need to max out your score entirely so you can get that extra reward. Once you can choose the rewards then pick the highest gem value items and simply sell them. After I sold all the items I received in total 320 gems. As I was halfway through to 2000 gems I still needed to get some extra gems as the time was running out. For that reason I decided to complete some achievements and let me tell you guys, this is one of the best methods to get free gems. You can get 15,937 gems from there completely free by just playing the game as you do. Some achievements are very easy to complete but some might be more challenging, like for example destroying the goblin maps. Last 25 maps are the most challenging and if you would like to easily get those 225 gems then feel free to check out my guide where I demonstrate the best methods how to 3 star them. Anyway within 28 days I was able to complete bigger and better. Heroic Heist first stage. Empire Builder. Hidden Treasures second stage. And punch of other achievements. In total I completed 15 tasks worth of 965 gems. Now that I was just 6 gems away from 2000 and it was the end of the month I thought it would be perfect time to help out some of the top clans with my massive trophy presence. Since the guys in the number 1 clan called Clan Best Leave were my mates then they left me one spot to join but for some unknown reason the join button wasn't working properly that day. Ninth method that I tried was kinda like a get rich quick scheme where I was supposed to get gift cards in return of downloading apps and filling in surveys. Surprisingly I did get a lovely gift in the way of receiving a virus after which all my dogecoin got stolen. My takeaway on that is to never waste time on one of those applications or fake gem generator promoted by bots in clan chats or in youtube comments. Time was ticking quickly and there was one last method how I can earn some gems. That method required me to wake up Bob at the middle of the night to clean up some of these obstacles. While Bob and his brothers were cleaning the obstacles I was counting the sweet gems I received and finally I made it to the 2000 gems. Within the whole month I had made 398 gems from removing obstacles which is pretty nice. In total all 10 methods combined I made 2392 gems which is average of 85 gems per day. All that work was done to finally have a discord date with my potential future wife. After I told her I have finished the job she sent me her discord id. Yo! Pranked baby! <laughs> Bruh.